you want to trap me for once Why can't you agree with me for once Maybe we can be on chill tonight Maybe I can give you chills too We've been on a tragedy for months Why can't you agree with me for once yeah. Maybe we can be on chill tonight Maybe I can give you chills Hey guys, it's Jazzy Ray here, back with another video. Excuse me, that's my phone. I just wanted to do this video talking about this basically college and um, why I switched my major. After three years, I switched my major from nursing to human services. Um, and it's going to get really deep. So if you guys are in college and you're not sure what you want to do, it is okay. Been there, done that. Just don't do what I did and wait three past the two year mark to finally decide hey I'm gonna switch my major so without further ado I'm going to put my phone down and we're gonna get started matter of fact let me go ahead and just starting off I actually went to college at 20 years old I'm still in college but hopefully with everything this quarantine works out I'll be graduating next May so when I was in high school I remember my mom brought up college to me and of course being a freshman I was not thinking about college at all i was thinking about being an actress i was joking around with her like me go to college yeah whatever my mother got very mad at me <laughs> but you can't not make an excuse but you can't expect a freshman in high school to even be thinking that far our minds are still in the eighth grade okay it wasn't until junior year when i decided you know what i need to you know i'm graduating soon i need to figure out what my plan is so my plan was to, I, will, I would have wanted to go to a university, but I'm glad I didn't. Sometimes I, I still feel like I wish I would have went, but honestly, I probably would have got kicked out because parties, <laughs> the parties, the freedom, I probably would have like took advantage of that. It just would have been bad. I don't think at 18, I would be responsible enough to handle all that. So I decided to go to a community college no shame in going to a community college i feel like that's a great way to start because at least you kind of get the gist of what college is like and that will prepare you to go to a university if that's what you choose to do when i um went when i decided hey i want to go to college i had no idea what i was going to go for and i feel like i wasn't i mean i decided to go but it really wasn't something that i wanted to do for real for real i feel like i did it because my mother wanted me to go to college, my grandmother wanted me to go to college, and things like that. So it was just like, I'm just going because that's what somebody told me to go. And I didn't know what I, what my major was going to be. I didn't have, the only thing I wanted to do was act. That was the only thing. And you know, you, you, you can get a degree in theater and drama, but it, that's not going to get you a job. It's not going to get you an acting gig, you know what I mean? So it's like, let's, let's be a little realistic here. Um, So I decided to go for nursing. And the only reason why I chose nursing was because I come from a family of nurses. I believe my great great grandmother was a nurse. I believe my grand my great grandmother was a nurse. My grandmother was for sure a nurse. Um, aunt is a nurse. My mother, on the other hand, studied nursing assistant, but she's not a nurse. But she did study it. So he leave it up to me. And the thing that really made me feel like I should be a nurse, it was two things. One, the family wanted me to do it, and two, the money. It was all about the money. So when I started going to college, that was my major. I was going to be a nurse. And I felt like I was pretty much going to school, like looking back on it from 20, 2016 to, 20, to March 2019, I felt like I was just going to school just to hang out and do these classes. And my thing is they say, oh, well, if you force someone to go to college, you're not going to do as well. That's not technically true because uh, I did okay. Yeah, I did okay. Uh, but I wasn't really motivated to, 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 to participate in anything, any college activities because I just, I just didn't want to be there. The only good thing that I, I, I can say from those years was just meeting people. And even then, it was just like, I don't care. Like, I don't even want to be here. You know what I mean? So I decided to go for nursing. And I started thinking long term, like around like 2018, like fall 2018 to spring 2019, like I don't know if this is the right, even if, even if I needed a backup plan in case my acting doesn't jump off like I want it to, I don't see myself being a nurse. And my thing is, if it's really just for the money, I could do anything for money. I could be a stripper for money. Strippers get paid more than nurses. Like, they can make, like, like I don't even know how many bands they do. Like, I can have my own place in, like, three months. 
you know what I mean? So it's just, like, probably less than that. If it's really about the money, I can do anything for money. So I've kind of been yo-yoing back and forth. Like, do I want to change my major? I might have to be in school a little longer. But, and then on top of that, with my school, there's a nursing program. And with the nursing program, it's a lot you have to do. You have to have a certain GPA. I mean, you have to be at 3.0 and higher, okay? Possibly higher than a 3.5. I'm not sure. You got to take all these classes, all these science classes, all these math classes. And I'm not good at math. And I'm not good at science. Luckily, I don't have to take any more, any more math classes. This is the last year I, I got to take science. But I'm not good at math. So I got to take all these classes. Plus, there is an exam, which means I don't know what's going to be on that test. I could fail it I could pass it and then on top of that there's a waiting period so even if I do get into the program there's no guarantee that I'm gonna graduate on time and there's no guarantee depending on how the sequence is I might be in school for another four years so it's just like it's gotta be something better than this I don't see myself doing this so I decided to change my major around March 2019 at first I was gonna go for psychology but then I'm like, okay, with psychology, that's good. That's good to have under your belt, but that's not going to get you a job. So then I thought human resources, but my school didn't offer human resources. So I'm like, damn. Then I was looking into human services. Now, human services is basically what it is. It's in the, it's in the title, like services for humans. Okay, we provide assistance for people who are on drugs, people who have issues with mental health, children who, are, who come from, you know, abusive households and things like that. So we really tend to those people. I mean, it's really services for everyone, but those are our main targets right there. So when I was reading about it, and it, it, it involves individual individual counseling and group counseling and being motivational and, 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 and all of that, and I'm just like, that's the field I need to be in. That is exactly where I, where I want to be. So I changed my major. My mom was very excited for me because that's something she wanted to do, but because of the family, she didn't do it. My grandmother was not supportive. She's supportive now because she just wants to see me happy and she just wants me to be sure that that's what I want to do, but she was not for it. Like she was just like, oh, you're going to be a social worker or you're going to be a human service worker. Like they don't pay a lot. It's a good field to get into. And to me, I want to, make money doing something I love. I don't want to make money doing something that I have to and pardon me I'm about to just sit on this and not do zero. But I didn't want to do that. Now I, I looked at the requirements. All I have to do is have a 2.6 GPA which is higher than that. There's no intrigue exam. Just get your background checked. Take these classes right here. Take these, in, these introduction classes and you're good. You know, and you can go down the generalist, generalist path or the substance abuse path. And right now I want to do substance abuse because even though I am not addicted to any substances, I've took them, but I'm not addicted to them. I come from a family of addiction. So that's perfect. Like I understand addiction rather well. Didn't even realize it until I took the course. And I'm so glad too because I feel like every class I take that pertains to my major, I'm getting like a therapist session because each assignment we do it's like I'm looking at myself and analyzing myself like these are these are things I need to work on and now I am um well I was before this happened in order to graduate you have to um intern at a rehab center or just a center with mental health whatever and I learned so much and I feel so comfortable and and and, and, I, and even just sitting in on the sessions I'm, I take peace I take it piece by piece and apply it to my own life so it's like, it's amazing. I love doing what I do. And I know that even though, yes, I, I'm, I'm a future Oscar winner, I can see myself doing this. And I feel like another reason why I had to switch my major to this was because existence. I am going to be in the industry. And I want to do so much more than just acting movies. I want to help people. I want to help. I want to start off with children, though, because I feel like children are our futures. They, they are our future doctors and lawyers and teachers. So I want to reach them, especially, I, mean, I want to reach everyone, but I, definitely the children. Because growing up, I wish I felt somewhere where I belong. I wish I could, I wish I could have went to like a center to feel more com comfortable with myself. And there were no centers. centers. So what I want to do is I want to open up centers for children of all ages, even centers for adults, just so they can just get away and, and, and escape and just get to know themselves. You know what I mean? And I feel like being in this field 
is definitely going to help me with that. So in a way, I have to get my degree in this. Because not only I can open, I can open a center, because anyone can do that if you got the money and good people, you can do it, but I'll be certified to do it. So it's like, this is, it's all according to my plan. And Kobe Bryant really showed me that. RIP to Kobe. Kobe showed me that why do you need to have multiple plans? Why can't everything just be a part of your plan? Your one big plan. And Kobe did so much in such a short amount of time. He did so much. And he definitely inspired me. No, I'm not a basketball fan, but that's Kobe Bryant. I know who Kobe is. And he's done so much. And I admire that. You know, RIP to Kobe and Gigi and all those people, all the other, what was it, seven people? Seven people, something like that, that died in that helicopter crash? RIP to them. But it's just, I feel like this is my true calling. And I'm so glad. They're making so many changes in that nursing program. Oh! And I guess my advice is do what you want to do. Don't pursue something because somebody wants you to or don't do it for the money because you're going to be miserable if you do it for the money. That's the case. You can do anything for the money. Do pick up the career that you'll be happy with. I know times are hard and you got to do what you got to do to make it. But at the same time, you got to be happy, man. Don't forget that. You know, and I feel like me being a nurse, I would have been miserable, especially right now. I will be miserable shout out to all the nurses and, and the doctors and all the people who are working during this time i really i really appreciate you guys but that's it so make sure you subscribe and comment and let me know how you feel about this video i will see you later bye okay i'm gone Yeah.